35-year-old Rachel Blackshear and her daughter Jayla were found dead in Anchorage, Alaska. You wouldn't wish this on anyone. I don't care how much you didn't like someone. This is a pain that no one ever, ever wants to feel. Thirty-five-year-old Rachel Blackshear was a smart and driven individual who was considered a rock star mom by many. She was a nurse, extremely health conscious, and had a smile that lit up any room. Rachel had a very intriguing personality, and she was always the life of the party. Her 14-year-old daughter, Jayla, took after her mother and was a bright student who was looking forward to high school. Rachel, who was a dedicated nurse and loved her job, began missing shifts for work an immediate red flag for her family. Concerned friends and family asked the police to do a welfare check on the home. On April 15th, Anchorage police responded to a welfare check at a residence around 1 p.m. Officers would open the doors to find a horrific scene. According to Anchorage police, officers did a welfare check on Blackshear's home, and that is when they found the mom and daughter dead. Police did not say how long the mother and daughter were deceased in the home, but Rachel's family believes someone was posing as her over text messages for at least two weeks based on how the texts were written. Law enforcement would learn that Rachel was married to a 39-year-old man by the name of Jelani Blackshear, who was previously in the military and recently a correctional officer. The family would inform them that the two had been in a domestically violent relationship and that Rachel would often try to hide it. She even became distant from her family in the weeks leading up to the murders. My daughter was a victim of domestic violence. Yes. Um, it was carefully hidden. Um, it appears that the violence would happen um, infrequently enough that um, my daughter felt that she could endure. 35-year-old Rachel Blackshear and her daughter Jayla were found dead in Anchorage, Alaska. You wouldn't wish this on anyone. I don't care how much you didn't like someone. Yeah. This is a pain that no one ever, ever wants to feel. Now her family back in Elk Grove wants the public to hear one important message. I do want to get the word out about domestic violence that if you suspect something, to say something, and I know that it might mean um, jeopardizing a friendship, a friendship or, or a access, but yeah. I, I feel like it's worth that to keep them alive. Um, you just don't know how it's gonna end. A look into Jelani's history revealed that on March 30th, 14-year-old Jayla went to the police to report that she had been raped by her father. Her mother, Rachel, took her to the hospital where forensic tests were performed, and police subsequently took a DNA sample from Jelani Blackshear as part of the investigation. A day after giving the DNA sample, Blackshear quit his job as a corrections officer, and he disappeared, along with Rachel and Jayla. The DNA samples came back as a match, for Jelani Blackshear on April 13th. Rachel and her daughter were found dead in their Anchorage home two days later. Two of Jayla's close friends put together a balloon release to honor the life of the bubbly and well-loved team. The memorial ceremony for Jayla was organized by two of her friends, Jalisa and Janice Osborne. Both were sickened and shocked by the news of their friend's death. I was sitting on the couch with my sister and my mother after she told me the news, and I also broke down crying because it was so sad. Jayla's teacher, Shan Vela, says she was in denial when she heard the news. I kept telling myself it really wasn't her. It really was it's not her, it's not her, it's not her. Jalisa and Janice's mother, Katrina, says she will also miss her daughter's friend, who was taken way too soon. And what, you know, what do you remember most about her? Her laugh. It was an infectious? Definitely. And she says she's very proud of her two daughters because it took a lot out of them to put together such an event. The two girls say they hope the memorial ceremony raises awareness about domestic violence and what happened to their friend. What happened to her was unfair, and I want people to know that domestic violence should be stopped. At the end of the memorial, everyone grabbed a balloon in honor of Jayla, preparing to let it go into the heavens, hoping the 14-year-old is in a safe place where nobody can hurt her anymore. We love you, Jayla! Jelani was immediately labeled a person of interest and was considered armed and dangerous. Initially, Anchorage police said they believed Jelani Blackshear may have headed to the East Coast and asked Homeland Security investigation agents and the NYPD 
to assist in the manhunt. They used his cell phone to track him to a home on Staten Island, where they would continue their search. HSI agents and police were seen earlier today making the arrest in the Emerson Hill section of Staten Island. 39-year-old Jelani Blackshear taken into custody after an Alaska to New York manhunt. Investigators searching the Harold Street home where he was believed to be hiding out. They say Blackshear, a correction officer, used a shotgun to shoot and kill his 14-year-old daughter and her mom back on April 15th. This after the teen accused him on March 30th of raping her. Prosecutors say hospital DNA tests on the girl were positive for a sex assault. Knowing he was under investigation, but before those DNA results came in, Anchorage police say Blackshear went on a rampage. They say he quit his corrections officer job and then went home and shot his daughter and her mom. They say Blackshear next fled Anchorage and flew here to New York. He was considered armed and dangerous. Jelani Blackshear was charged with sex assault of a minor and is believed to be responsible for the shotgun shooting deaths of Rachel and Jayla. He is being held without bail, pending his return to Alaska on the charges. It wasn't immediately clear when Jelani Blackshear would appear in court in New York to face extradition to Anchorage on the criminal charges. A spokesperson for the Anchorage Police Department said they couldn't provide additional details at this time since the investigation is ongoing.